Hello. Hello. Hi. Congratulations. I'm Kassam Luj from uh, Hey You Guys. Hi. Congratulations on the movie. Thank you. Um, I'll start off with, it just looks fantastic. Sumptuous in New York and feels very real uh, in the island scenes. Um, was that important for you to get those emotions across? Yes, very much so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, you know, I didn't want it to look like a sort of regular period film. I wanted it to have a slightly different feeling. But equally, as she unfolds as a character, the look of the film grows and it becomes more colourful and it becomes more elegantly staged and shot. And so you, the whole film feels like it's sort of growing with her. Mm -hmm. uh, was it largely filmed on location or did you build uh, a number of sets for it? We built a couple of sets, a couple of the interiors, um, which we had to, um, because they're too small to film on location. But we shot on location in Enniscorthy, which is where Colm Tobin grew up. And we shot on the actual street that he grew up in. So doing that, that sort of wove its way into the DNA of those Irish sections really satisfactorily. And, and we had to shoot um, 50s Brooklyn in Montreal because 50s Brooklyn doesn't exist anymore and current day Brooklyn is extremely expensive. And then we had two days in uh, New York to do all the exterior brownstone scenes and, and the great Coney Island, which you can't double anywhere in the world. Mm -hmm. I, I thought one of the best things about the film was um, uh, the relationships that we have. And, and in terms of no bad guys in the film, it doesn't feel like it to me anyway. Yeah. That there's anyone. Uh, uh, was that an important part to bring across in the movie? Very much so. And it's the kind of thing which if you had the wrong screenwriter on, it could have been destroyed very easily. Because the film has a very slow build to it and it's very, very powerful dramatically, but it doesn't do that from melodramatic tricks or from violence or anybody shouting at anybody else. It's, it's almost a very quiet, slow thing that gradually takes hold of you. Um, and Nick Hornby absolutely understood that and we wanted to match that quality. So the main thing I wanted the film to be was emotional and, and for an audience to feel that emotion all the way through the film. Mm -hmm. And of course, a lot of that emotion comes from Saoirse. Um, Amazing, yeah. Uh, yeah, can you tell us a bit about working with her and just what a fantastic performance she puts in well she's always been an incredible actress right and but this is a case of the exact right actor meeting the exact right role at the exact right time and uh, this you know she had in the year between we first m met to discuss the role and when she actually shot it she had gone through a lot of the things that are that that character goes through she left home for the first time she moved to London got a boyfriend life happened to her and she was very very homesick and struck at how sad she was about the fact that growing up was tough actually and, and, and I don't think she had ever expected that that would happen to her and in, in a way that she was quite sort of cosseted and, and, and uh, she was able to bring all of that emotion on set every day and it was very tough for her because she felt that she was uh, she describes herself as a mess during filming she wasn't but it was very emotionally um, raw for her shooting this film mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of those emotions I think we can all identify with and I, yeah. I'm just wondering how many of those you've gone through maybe moving away or you know that feeling of homesickness the exact same I mean I moved to London 18 years ago and loved it and moved here very happily to direct plays and you know I wasn't this sort of you know it wasn't economic deprivation that made me move um, but at the same time I was very struck by once you leave your country you can't go back to it anymore you're not a di the same person and they view you differently and you view them differently and but nor are you from the place that you've now chosen to live in so you're kind of in this odd netherworld for quite a while until you decide who you actually are with all of that and that's sort of what the film's about ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys huh hey you guys, is that yeah. from the goonies it is indeed, yeah. nice Hey, you know.